I think it's a very clever play in that it it seems to be very provocative and and present these two characters who are quite disempowered and it's easy for us to, to kind of take the piss out of them or to see them as caricatures but there are so many layers in the writing that that once we're working on it you start to start to see the warmth in it and actually that it's a very tender piece, that it's a very caring and loving piece. What I like about 8 Gigabytes is that it deals with um, characters that you don't normally kind of see so openly on stage, like the middle age kind of um, dating world, I guess. Um, the design for the show is, well it's a two-hander, so you want to kind of create a space of intimacy. We we're doing it at the loft. Um, so it was a, you know, a small theatre. Um, we're playing it in the long traverse, so it's very wide and shallow. Um, and I wanted to play with the idea of proximity, so that the characters can feel really close, but also really far away from each other at points. Um, and also the idea of transparency um, and textures. It's been so exciting to work with these two, who are really brave and really playful and it's such a cliche to say brave because we kind of it's a word that we bandy around a lot in the theatre but it, this piece like it really does require so much courage because it's um, quite transparent and it's exposing. I mean right from the title, the title's very provocative and it, and it sets up an expectation that is interesting because I think this play is very shocking but not in the way that people think it will be so I think the whole the whole experience should feel a little bit like that. I think the kind of experience that we're hoping to create for the audience is something around this interplay between feeling really comfortable and really uncomfortable. Hopefully people will feel challenged by it but also really warmed by it and, and allowed to laugh and allowed to cry. I reckon it's yeah, it's pretty, pretty bit of a ride. It's it's a ride, and it's quite uncontrollable. So I think, um, yeah, it should make people feel alive. <laughs>